Call the meek vitality of the ox loosened barrier. Now, guys, look at my board and see what you see. I do have a gangplank too, so I might do flaming ricochet. Let's just do a really quick sweep to see if anyone else is uh, planning on running GP. Doesn't really look like it, but there might be a couple of uh, two star rerolls here. Um, I'm just gonna roll. And oh, okay. Cleansing Safeguard, Gat Paid, both are really, really good. Um, is that Edgelord? It is. That guy is running re uh, Talon Reroll. Um, I'm down for Gat Paid, honestly. It's, it's alright. It's a very strong augment, in all honesty. Uh, we can also run Underground, potentially, but we kind of need to win streak, so let's figure out how we can do that. There's a Giant Slayer that we can play, uh, which I think is actually not a terrible idea to pay. To play. Um, I have a Gangplank there, that's fine. Okay, so we obviously lose this one, but that's okay. Uh, that's because I took a million years to figure things out. Um, I'm gonna play these. I mean, that would be a nice uh, laser core start, which would be really strong with Get Paid, because it's a tempo comp. Um, but I do have... Okay. Now, I need... I need to level, but just not quite yet. Who do I put this on? It's a Giant Slayer, and I should be playing the Giant Slayer here. I wonder if it's backline or frontline, but I think I'll have a frontline unit in, so I might just give it to GP. Should I give it to GP? Oh man, I'm... I'm not sure. Let's see what we fight here. Duh, it's double defender, huh? I mean, Giant Slayer doesn't have that much value this early on, so maybe it's not even a Giant Slayer. Okay, um, but we'll need to turn the tide soon to be able to utilize the get paid here. Because we really want to win streak with it, right? That is the most important thing. Oh, goody. That doesn't sound too bad, does it? That doesn't sound too bad. Now, it's still not going to be enough to win streak, I don't think. Um, but I can give some items here, I think. So you guys can take those. Uh, do I play this component? Let's see who we are up against. I should. I should play this, yeah. Just to have the chance to kill at least one or two units here. Right, because we need to kill units. That's that's the most important part. And um, right now, it's not that easy to do. Okay, that's one gold. Not too bad. Not amazing either. But not too bad. Um, okay, so let's see what we want here. Probably Last Whisper, not gonna lie. So I'm gonna take the Last Whisper off that, um, or like the gloves of that Ezreal. Uh, maybe there's an Ezreal in shop, uh, but that's not gonna be good enough. I can't pop up components, you can only pop off um, full items. There's a bug now. Where if you put your units on the bench and you combine them, the item will pop off. But it will only pop off if it's a complete item. If it's a component, it will not do that. Not sure why that is, uh, but that's what, what it is. So uh, We could look to level, uh, but what can we play if you level? Maybe a Leeson? Uh, do I level here, man, or do I just Econ? The thing is, having more power is actually pretty useful. But I think it's okay if we just econ for now. I'll buy this, because I can hold him for free for now. There's another GP in there, but we don't really care about GP reroll here. We just want to play GP until like stage 4 or 5, maybe 5, yeah. But it's more like stage 4. Okay, I need items for that line. And my targeting was very scuffed this game, huh? Okay, not super good, but it's okay. We do have underground ticking as well. Let's keep that in mind. If you find the Sona, 
It would be pretty good. Although it might be a little bit too late for that. It might be a little bit too late for that. There's a laser core unit. I'm just gonna sell this GP, I think. Oh, maybe not. I'm, yeah, it's a GP2, another one, huh? Thinking about picking up one of these two. Mm -hmm. I mean, Kaisa is very strong early on. It's fine. We're just chilling. We're just chilling. Should probably move Ezreal here. Oh, of course you get a fucking hook. It's so tilting. <laughs> oh, I hate that augment. That's just so random. Like, if you get a hook like that, you're just bound to win, right? Pretty much. And you can't really defend against it, because... I mean, you can maybe play on the assumption that Ezreal might get that goddamn hook. Or give the goddamn hook to someone, right? But chances of that happening are so low. Don't think you usually care enough or want that enough. Okay, I'm just going to do this for two ages for now. We can uh, sell the Lee, I think. Pick up the Geppetto. Geppetto. And play of that. I think it only applies to champions. Maybe not. Oh, that's a lot of gold. Okay, we have a million swords, man. What the heck? Um, so maybe it's not going to be a sure shot game, right? Maybe it's just going to be like a Belvet game or something. Belvet really likes Deathblade, so we could play Deathblade here. I mean, what else am I going to play, right? Just gonna give that to this girl. I'm looking to level. I'm actually looking to pre-level here. Um, and then see what we get on the next augment. And then play off of that. But we need to stabilize, I think, next. Because we lost 30 HP in stage 2, which is not ideal, as you can imagine. It's absolutely not ideal. You should be like 80 plus HP here, usually. Oh, that guy found the Belveth. All right. Call the Meek as well. God. That's a tough one. My backline just died. Yeah. Not very happy about this one. Not gonna lie. I mean, it's a Belveth, man. Like, what am I gonna do against it, right? 11 HP loss. Fine. Ooh, Radiant Relics, High Roller, Verdant Veil. I mean, if I found a level up here or something, right, that could be super good. So I might... Like, I'm thinking about re-rolling, but these two are also very, very good. I'm just going to take the Relic, huh? Uh, continue Heist. And what do we take here? Well, that's not bad. That's not bad either. That is super good, huh? I'm just gonna take Runen's Tempest. I think it was nerfed recently, though. So... I'm gonna play another Vi for now. I should have rolled, but I took too, too long figure out what I wanted, so. I'm offered so many severes here, man. Okay, what do I even do? Oh, this is not good. We didn't hit units that we could have used, really. We I mean, maybe a soul, but the thing is, get us off underground, which I don't want to do yet. Mm, so how do we play this? Maybe I just go 7, no? Try to win streak from there. Could work. 
I mean, ideally, ideally, I want to cash out the three underground, not just the two. Okay, that sounds reasonable to me. Uh, for now, at least. Maybe you could play it like this, I guess. And picking up the Nila here as well. I mean, I'm not really looking to play Duelist that much, but four Duelist here sounds all right. For the time being, that is. We just need to stabilize at least somewhat here, I think. Don't know if we can do it. Because it's a prismatic lobby now, so it's going to be very strong. And we are already very low HP, so we can't really afford losing more, right? That is the idea here. Oh boy. Yet, we just get wrecked. Yeah, I mean, no front line is usually an issue. Okay, we go 7 here for sure and then roll down to maybe 0 even. I'm down to doing that, honestly. And what do I get? Like a gunblade? Yeah, we don't have any frontline items, by the way. Do I take spatula? I don't think I do, right? Because I can only get laser core uh, emblem at the moment. And I don't really need that. And even after, like, what would I play? Like, with these items, I can't play Renegade. I can't really play Mascot. I can only play Sure Shot or Belveth, right? Belvet would be the perfect unit here, to be honest. Like a 3 cash out, Belvet 2. Sounds absolutely fantastic to me. So we level here, we pick this up. Pick this up. Uh, okay, sure. Oh god, that is big. That might just be enough here, man. Uh, we can get off the duelist, because we don't really care about that anymore. Don't care about this one. I can give this to the GP. I could rebuild the GP. Maybe... Okay, if I find Belvet 2, I'll pop off the items and give her the Gumblade. I think that's what I'll do. But this should be pretty big here, I think. Look at the damage from the Runans, huh? Jeez, that's so... Holy sh... Alright, boys. We be back in this game. Holy shit. That's dope. How much uh, did GPD do? Not much, but she uh, he did heal like almost 600. And uh, no, I'm gonna continue heist for one more, I think. Can I... Because these items, again, are not super good. So I'm just going to try and continue and win streak. Oh, gosh. There are two Samiras, man. Like, this is also very good with Samira. So it would be a bit of a shame to just not pick up on that one. So there's five gold here. I'm going to make 40. I have to. I have to. Right. I'm gonna give the hack stack to Fiddlefly. I mean, I might. It's actually pretty good on him. Not yet, though. Okay, we are really strong right now. And we are printing so much money. I didn't even have to sell my units, huh? I didn't realize. I forgot that we, we print money. <laughs> it got paid. Okay, looking like a bit of a turnaround here. So I'm happy with that. I should also be rolling for... Um, Balvet too, but maybe it's just on level 8, right? Samira's... I mean, if I find an Aphelios man on level 8 during the rolldown, I might just play Sure Shot instead of Balvet. Because it just seems too good to pass up on. Especially given we have two Samira's, right? But I'm keeping my options open at the moment. Yeah, another bowman like this game. Okay, buddy. So I have some fiddle items there. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna pop these. Like, there's no reason to keep them for now. You know, uh, we could level on four two. I will level on four two, I think, and then we roll down and either look for Belvet two or Samira two and the Philios. Belvet two is more likely, obviously, than uh, the other one. And then we have five more rounds of winning to get the cash out, or four more rounds. 
So if you can streak through stage 4, then we have a cash out, we get the items ideally, and that should be good enough for me. You know? A very nice field. We might not be able to kill this one though, huh? So that's a very strong Y. Oh, come on, Belvet. Can we kill? Okay, that's big, that's big, that's big. Yeah, that was close, but that was a big fight for us. So we need to roll down on 4 2 for sure and stabilize f uh, further and push our streak. Uh, hopefully, we get a combat augment here. And then that just solidifies everything. Axiomark Stand United is not terrible. Uh, should I roll though? Oh, Thrill of the Hunt is probably better, huh? Okay, level here. I mean, Talia, I'm not gonna play, so... Okay, this is not a good roll down so far. Jesus, man! What's up with the Talias? Um, keeping this one on bench for now. That's a Samira 2. There's a Senna. I kind of really want Balvath, but I feel like, feel like I should be playing the Samira 2 with Senna, right? Just makes more sense to me. I'll do that. I'll, I'll sell the Balvath here. I play for the Samira. Because, yeah, Samira 2 is just... I, I mean, it's, you know, you don't pass up on a Samira 2 if you find her. It's just, you just don't. You can't do that, especially if you don't find the Balvath 2 that you're looking for. But this is fine. I mean, we're still very strong. Good. Good, good, good. I'm gonna sell the Belvet now, unless we find a Belvet 2 randomly here. Will we? We don't. Okay, so selling. And then just not playing Aegis for now, and we will play these two. And then giving Samira this, this, and this. I know no healing, but that's fine. Selling the other Belvath. I'm gonna play this fine. I'm gonna pick up a Sedge for a potential Sedge 2 angle here. Uh, so again, once we cash out, we just sell the underground units, except for Y. So we will have two spots left or open, basically, right? So that could be an Alistair, it could be a Sedge 1, it could be pretty much anything. Uh, maybe I should swap Kale and Samira, by the way. Samira is a little bit too exposed to my liking. Yeah, that's exactly why. I mean, it's not like we could have killed this. This is a Raven, uh, Draven 3 man, like... Way too strong. Kind of shit that it breaks our streak as well, huh? Big friend going on. Not happy about this one. Not super happy, not gonna lie. But we do have our cash out at least, so that's good. We get the items. Hopefully they can be tank items here. I'm down for a Titans or a giant slayer or zz rot i think it's just a titans on a five cost no and then give that to maybe if it'll maybe vi or someone it'll could use better items so it's probably just why we take the cash out here sell the units play our front line and then we can look for either level 9, or we can uh, try and stabilize further on level 8. Okay, it's just gold, man. That means... you know what that means, right? How much gold is it? Okay, I mean, it definitely means we're just playing... Um... One second, sorry. We're just playing for level 9 now. Like, there's no other way around this, right? We might get rid of the Vi at some point, so just gonna give her the Titan for now. Yeah, I mean, it's 5-1 level 9, and then we can roll for units. I think that's fine. We, we should be able to, we should be stable enough to get there. Like, if you're not, then I'm gonna be very surprised. Okay, this guy is also very strong, huh? We do have the 
Uh, Trill of the Hunt ticking. So that's good. Getting some extra juice here. And there we go. It's infinite money, man. Like, get paid plus the underground cash out. <laughs> We're just rich. Um, okay, so still gonna wait one more turn. I'm gonna pick up this Zack. Because, you know, if you find a Zack too, I'll just play him. Um, I'm actually... I would be down to just rebuild Samira if you find an Aphelios one. But I'm not sure if that's actually correct. I think Aphelios one is just so strong. Especially with these items. Might just worth it. I'm not sure. We'll see. Uh, I'm gonna play Fiddle here, I think. We can also get rid of GP at some point now. Like in stage 5, do we really care about the uh, get paid that much? Probably not. Maybe. This is a laser core person. They will fall off real hard soon. Like, you don't really want to play laser core unless you can find two spatulas. Let's see? That is not the play that you want. And we will level here for sure, man. After the PvE round. We'll have almost 50 gold to roll. Which is great. We can look for a nice legendary board, right? That is pretty much it. And we can keep in GP. I mean, why not? It just it takes up one slot, that's it. But that is fine. For To be real with you. Do we play for sure, Shant? I mean, mm, I'm just gonna pick her up just, just to have her on bench. Just if we decide. Because for sure, Shant is pretty strong, but you need a very strong frontline for that to work. Like Echo 2, Setch 2, Alistair 2, uh, Leona 2, ideally, you know, stuff like that. Okay, Alistair airdropped. That might be a jeweled gauntlet. And now we roll down. There's a Belvet 2 here as well, man. Okay. What's the weather? Mm, that's not too bad. Oh god, nice. Um, okay. Alright. Uh, do I play this ever? I mean, I'm down to selling this and playing this. Because Bavat 2 here is pretty nice. Uh, and we didn't find a Philios, so... I think this is slightly better. Okay, that's a Jeweled Gauntlet on the Fiddle. We'll also play um, Nunu, probably. Instead of the Janna. Just put in Janna for now, because I was... Um, running out of time. Yeah, Belvet kind of needs healing, huh? It's okay. It is A-OK. -okay. We need to find Fiddle too, because he's a huge item holder right now. Or we can give the items to Nunu. That's also an option. There's the Aphelios now, but it's a little bit too late. There is Fiddle too. There's the Nunu. I mean, it's a naked Nunu too, but it's still fine. We can get rid of this guy or girl. Do I play this though instead of this for now? I think yes. And uh, just the GP is not super important here. Fiddle there. Echo here. We could rebuild the Vi for sure. Give the item over to Echo or someone. That is an option. But um, later, right? If we find Leona, we can we can do that. This guy seems very strong. The double Zeke's on the Silas is not bad. Is it Edgelords? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an Edgelord reroll. Cool. I mean, yeah, the legendary soup is just too much, and we are printing so much money right now. Like we don't even we can't even level any lo any further, right? Level nine here. Um Aphelios two over Janna. I would say so. Maybe binding eclipse here. 
Yeah, there is the Leona, but it's a Leona one. I don't know if that's better. Eh, probably. Mm, yeah, picking up the guy. I don't care about this one too much. There is an Urgot, though. Urgot I care about. I want Urgot too. There's also a Leona. I mean, we'll print some money here, so I'll just... I'll just wait. Hm, that Draven is so strong, man. It's very hard to deal with, no? And now he's gonna kill my Belveth. Three shots it, practically. Yeah, this, this is the only person that can beat us here. I'm not even sure how we could beat them. Because, um... Like, what am I gonna do, right? Now, this is where Samira 2 would be better than the Belvet 2. Oh, there's a Thieves' Gloves. But it's a guaranteed top 4 already, so... I mean, that's pretty good. Admin, I can't do much. I, I can't do with anything with any, any of these. This is just the Chalice, I think. Maybe it was that, because I don't have Magic Pen either. I don't think Magic Pen is super important here. Let's take a look around. This guy is not very strong. This guy is not very strong. This is the only person that I'm afraid of here. Urgot. Okay. We have 27 life. Which is not a ton of life, but it's alright. Um, So I kind of want Urgot to... Urgot 2 would be better than Belvet 2 with these items, I'm pretty sure. So if we find, we can replace. Um, okay, that's fine. I don't really care about that Aphilios right now. Just a stun bot, but can't even stun because of Verdant Veil. Hmm. I'm actually not dealing any damage to this guy. I'm surprised. I'm getting stuck on the Vi here. Alright, Fiddle has a good ultimate angle here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was a chunk, chunky fiddle there. Almost 500 AP, man. What the fuck? Um, pretty good, I will say. If I find the Samira too, I'm down to rebuilding the Belvet. Playing Samira and uh, Aphilius. Actually, I should do that now. Not even kidding. I, just sh I should just give these items to Aphilius. Don't know why I'm not doing that. And do it like this, and then play Duskblade. And I think that's just simply better. Okay, Samira 2 as well, huh? Cool, cool, cool. Oh, the Edgelord, though. The Edgelord is better against the Sure Shots than it is against the Belvet, because Belvet moves around a lot, so... Typically, they won't, he won't target the Belvet, but he will definitely target my carries here. Okay, that is strong, man. Cool. Nice. That's not mine. And we take the victory. Not yet knocked out. Mm, the lobby is still... Uh, very competitive, right? It's four people. But we should be getting very strong here. This, I think this person might win. I don't know why he's so strong. Maybe it's it his big friend. Just not taking damage, basically. Or maybe the Aphilios uh, com combo is better than the Belveth was against them. We'll see. We'll just have to see. And I don't have any frontline items. Let's not forget about that, right? So they can get through my frontline real quick. Versus I can't really get through theirs super quick, so... Mm, that's a TG, right? On like Nunu or someone? Or Sejuani even? Uh, let's see how much magic damage they have. It's physical, it's magic, it's physical. So I'm down to just doing this for now. And then I'm up against this guy. So let's see if they move around or not. Oh, that is big though. They move. They do move. 
They moved, we moved as well. Did my affiliates move? No, it did not. Alright, that's not too good. I tried to move it, just didn't register. We shred, that's good. But we still don't do enough damage, man. Like, look. Just not, not, can't get through them. Why? How? <laughs> what is this? I mean, I don't have magic resist shred. Maybe that's the, that's the issue. I honestly don't know right now, man. It's a little bit scuffed. I'm up against this guy. Also, mostly fist damage. But I should beat them, so. I should be able to beat them, right? The magic damage person is out. So I can get rid of my Aegis units. Hmm. I, at some point I need to get rid of the GP as well. Let's not forget about the GP. Okay, jump in the middle of that. And we take this out. Do they die? They do not die. Let's see who we're up against. If it's the same person, uh, the ghost of them, then we can keep in the GP. Otherwise, we can get rid of the GP. I'm up against this guy. They might knock us out here. So that's not good. About to get hurt. Another fiddle. Is that good though? Oh, those Sejuani items are terrible, man. Okay, how do I do this? I think it's like this, maybe something like that. It's the ghost. I mean, it's a top two, I think. This this person is very strong. Like, it's just ridiculously strong. Uh, usually, you can't get through the legendary board so easily. So I'm a little bit surprised that they are, right? But I mean, my items aren't perfect for sure. So there's that. Oh, just one shots my Aphelios, man. Oh yeah, I sold my Alistair. I, I, I wasn't supposed to sell the Alistair because of the Ox Force. We get knocked out, but that's okay. It's a top two, man. That's pretty good. Um, GG easy, yeah. I mean, he's not wrong. Like, I mean, he just goofed us. Uh, but yeah, I, I think that was a good game. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and a comment for the algorithm and consider subscribing. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.